the president has been approached that, look, this investment is required. And by virtue of his substantive position as the board chairman, referred NMPC to the vice president, who then was acting president, to authorize them to consummate this partnership. And I remember very well in the minutes, in the, in the press statement given by the vice president's office, they say it is an approval of basically a preparation after due diligence to proceed with the protocol of securing and procuring this loan. So now we need to look at clearly there is legality in terms of the authority that is deployed to consummate this transaction. However, the question is, this transaction as a whole, we should be looking more deeper into the transaction as regards to its value and its uh, strategic importance and implication to the country. And I think that is where we need to focus on protocol of approval, I think has been followed, and NPC was involved, uh, the minister has been involved, the acting president has been involved, and these are the authorities required to approve any transaction. Trying to say that Mr. President approved per se, does not obviate the need for the board to meet. Mr. President is not the board. If he were still around, he will still be a member of the board. And you cannot, on his own, unilaterally take a decision. So if there was no board meeting, what he's saying is wrong in law. With utmost respect, I'm talking law here. I'm not talking sentiments. So in essence, if the board has the power to manage the affairs of an MPC, subject to the operational powers of the directors and the group managing director, and the fact that any loan or any contract or anything, anything of that magnitude, you can imagine Mr. President is coming to the National Assembly to ask for a 5.5 billion loan to fund the operations of the budget 2017. And we are discussing a loan, a money that's in excess of 3 billion dollars. And you are saying somebody can unilaterally approve in his capacity as who? Well.